I don't know why I never deleted the left hand. This is only a one-handed gun. So, if all this was colored, if this is about what it would look like. Got something basic going on. Let's give it some. Let's give it some funky-looking iron sights. Hey, right? can't hurt. Scale it down a bit. Center it a little bit. Again, not not gonna be not, not gonna be critical about how this gun looks. It's gonna be your first gun. Do not post it, and be proud of it because you're doing more than what most people can do in the game. And you got about a basic looking gun. Now, I'm gonna include a zip file in the description that has the basics you need for packaging. This is not done either. This model is not done. You're going to add materials and joints. We're not adding animations to this because... Well... Will we? Let me you know what? We'll add animations. We'll add a trigger pull animation for this. So when you when you click click once, this is going to go back a little bit. This will just give you a basis for making for making basics. And then you can proceed from there. Once you learn how to make a fire animation, you can go to making equipment animations. If you go even more, you can do reloading, all different kinds of stuff. And right now, I'm getting involved in making melee for every weapon I have. So if you right-click, let's say you have a good-sized gun with a stock, you can stock, you can smash him with the stock. So it's pretty cool. All right, we got our weapon. Gonna want to add some materials. Um, I need. I forget what exactly the dimensions of this are. Sorry if I'm taking too long here, but I I don't have much of a memory right here to remember what the dimensions of this are. 16 by 16. All right. To make your own textures, you're probably if you want to make your own textures, that is a lot of modders usually use the default ones, but if you need to um Go into paint, something basic. Go to reset. Go to resize, and then, and then click pixels and set the size for 16 by 16. Think the paint bucket, color, so and so, should have it. I have a green texture, but we're not going to go like that. We're going to use something basic like metal, metal two, one of my darker but at the same time lighter plastic colors. Looks a bit like a plastic. I used to use this color a lot. All right. All right. Yeah. This right here. This just. This is just so you can see what it looks like in game. If you add the colors that are the same as what you uploaded. If you just upload it like this, it's not going to show the color. Now make another new one. And metal one. Again, colors. Now, a um, final one. We'll use we we'll use a white texture for this trigger right here. But this time we'll make it glow, like the default gun. We'll probably make these glow as well. Don't mind how it looks. It'll work later. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing again. Just get the basic idea. Oh right, we need the black. So get a completely black texture and color it accordingly. Add it here. You should see the black in there. Got that down. Now the coloring is up to you. This is just how I want it. So I got I got the body done, the main muzzle and barrel done, whatever this is, I couldn't even tell you. Some sort of iron sights and a basic trigger. So, you got your first gun. It's completely 90% done. All you have to do is add joints, rename rename your objects, and if you want, rename the materials. I rename them by what they are, like this. But I'm not going to go too far. I'm just going to keep it like that. Alright. But I will want to name this 
because I want to fix it in the export so it glows. All right. What this hand also does is serves as a placeholder for where you want to put your joints. You want to put it about about here. Center it on every side of your screen. Make sure it's pretty decent. You want to go up into joints. You have to do this exactly how I do it. Name it exactly like this. Alright. Once I set up the joints, I'm going to continue and I'm going to cancel this so we can go onto the animation. Alright. Now, keep it red. This is the animation part. This is, and well, if you... Well, let's see. Nah. I was going to figure if you make it so when you fire it goes up a little bit but I'm just gonna use the normal default animations keep it basic for learning All right, you wanna keep that make sure that there's this arrow here so they're connected during animation you won't need them connected in this tutorial oh right. The first joint where the hand is is called mount point, capital P on point, lowercase muzzle. Muzzle in every f first letter is lowercase and point is uppercase, so it's muzzle and in capital P, O, I, and T for this. And if you want, I didn't really take the time to add it, but you could add a hole on the side or something so when you fire the default shell or your own custom shell is ejected from the gun. You want to name this eject point. E J E C T capital P O I N T. Rename it. Joints are all joints are all here. They're just not assigned yet. Now let's go to mount again. See they're all connected. If they're all connected, they'll all be green in the the beginning point will be red. That's a good sign. This is all good. Now your final joint will be right here. You want to name it something that relates to what it has to do. So trigger and set it. Now we don't need this hand anymore. Hand goodbye. All right. All your fingers are set. Now what you want to do is assign everything to this. So double click this and unless you have certain parts which if you really get complicated in animating then you will want part of it all selected and then the rest is selected some other joints but here control a which selects everything and then go to joints click assign now all you have to do now is go to trigger trigger joint and click the, the, the group that is the trigger and do the same thing assign now we should be done. All right, make sure this works. The joint in animation mode, it moves, and so does the trigger. All good. Now, in the next video, I will show you how to animate. Please subscribe, and I will see you then. Goodbye.